Coming off out here. I, I think it's the door, sir. Well, who locked it? I did, sir. I locked the other boys out so I could get the job. Oh, you did, eh? Young man, come into my office. Gee, I hope I didn't do anything wrong. No, 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 no. Quite the opposite. You also locked the door on that detective who wanted me. As a witness. You're hired. Your salary's 18 parts. You can start right in, out there. Thanks. Uh, where do I chuck the mail? Oh, I open all mail, personally. Have you got a blacklist? You bet. Book agents, insurance peddlers, and investors. You know, some of these people buy this Glory B mining stock today and expect a dividend tomorrow. I must think it's a gold mine. Yeah. It is. How'd you guess it? Oh, I know all the answers, Mr. Pepper. You can depend on me. I'll separate the buyers from the criers. What's your name, son? You're getting pretty hot when you say son. You can just call me, uh, uh Brick Red or Torchy. Take your choice. You'll eventually call me one of them anyway. to go west on some personal business, so I'm leaving you in charge of the office. You know, I can't give up my entire life to Glory B. You mean that I'm going to be the boss? That's it, my boy, in complete charge. Here's a present for you. 
Thanks, Mr. Pepper. Gee, thanks. Don't mention it. It's nothing. I don't know how long I'm going to be away on this trip. So there's $30 in advance. Thanks, Mr. Pepper. This will hold me over, at least until you come back. In the meantime, if I need any cash, I'll just sell the stocks you gave me. No, Torchy, whatever you do, don't sell those stocks. You know, no one knows the real value of glory be. Thanks, Mr. Pepper. I won't. I'll keep them forever. Goodbye, Torchy. Just tell the folks that I've gone west. All right, Mr. Pepper. Goodbye. Peggy, now get me J.P. Morgan. Hello, J.P. What do you say, pal? Say, how about a little cruise up to Hudson? Ah, sure, you can bring Ass along. He's pet horse, too. Bring Rockefeller. That is, if he isn't playing golf. Oh, I see. Well, see if you can scrape up some of the other boys, and we'll take a little... And see if you can scrape up 4750 for the telephone bill. Oh, gee. I couldn't ask that of J.P. Okay. And I'll give me disconnect. This is Stephen. Yes. Director 2, 4618. Disconnect? Okay. Well, I'll talk to you again sometime. Not on that phone. Oh, pardon me. There's something I can do for you, sir? Well, I hope so. Uh, Pidey is my name. Pidey is I. I'd like to talk to you about some of my stuff. Oh, yes, sir. Step right in. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I've been quite worried about my stock. I'd like to sell. Oh, I wouldn't do that. See, I have some myself. But Mr. Pepper told me not to sell it at any price. He says no one knows the real value of Glory B. Uh, pardon, please. That's it? Uh, get me the exchange. It's a lovely day, isn't it? Yes, uh, lovely. lovely. Uh, hello, hello, Bromwell and Company. Hello, Mr. Bromwell. Uh, this is the Glory B. Uh, say, Brahmy, I just wanted to let you know that Mr. Pepper's gone west. Uh, what's that, Brahmy? It's a lovely day, isn't it? Uh, yes, uh, lovely. Le what's that? Oh, yes, yes. I expect big things when Mr. Pepper gets back. Well, so long, kid. See you on the curb. Now, as you were saying... But now, on second thought, I don't think I'll sell myself. So perhaps I'll buy some more of it. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, perhaps I'd better call my wife. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> don't be too hasty, you know. And never leak before you've burned your bridges. No, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Yes, yes. Tomorrow is another day. Uh, <laughs> that's so. <laughs> yes, well, <laughs> thank you so much. I think yes. I'll just walk over with my wife because it would be oh, on the yes. same side. Goodbye, Mr. Fidey. Pepper. You mean Mr. Pepper? I mean Pepper. And Mr. Pepper's gone west. You mean Pepper's gone south and with plenty of sugar. Listen, kid, I'm a United States Marshal. This Pepper is a high-class cook and the Glory Bee is a con game. And to think that I, I got 50 shares. How much did you pay for them? Nothing. Well, you're still stuck. And, and there ain't no Glory Bee? No, kid, there ain't no Glory Bee. Why, Pepper's a crook. You don't think I I'm crooked, do you, Mr. Marshall? No, son, but uh, the best thing you can do is to get out of here. I'm going to close this office up. Hello, give me police headquarters. <laughs> Not on that phone. What's the inside on this office boy job with the corrugated truss? Well, the inside is. There's 25 guys ahead of you on the outside. Thanks, General. I always did perform better in front of a crowd. Listen, pal. I gotta come in first on that corrugated job. How about a squint at that mob of stamp lickers? Oh, yeah? Hey, now, step back hey, now. The horse is busy and it'll take you one at a time. Just stay back in the hall line up there. Hey, Lindy, up another flight. I need altitude. Going up. Oh, 
afraid you gave me too much altitude. I should have gotten off on the floor below. Yes, sir. I'll take you right down. Good morning, Mr. Pidey. Oh, uh, good morning. <clears throat> about, uh, about that Glory B stock. My wife and I have decided that we can't buy another share. Oh, you're both right. So the government took it over yesterday and decided nobody could buy another share. Uh, it's practically a closed corporation. Oh, uh, that's splendid. Uh, uh, by the way, Mr. Pidey, I know where you can get the best office boy in town. You do? Where? Right here. You see, I resigned from the Glory B yesterday. Oh. <clears throat> Have you uh, any recommendations? No, but uh, if you go in for that sort of thing, I know a guy down on Ann Street that writes views for a quarter of throw. Oh, uh, here's one from my mother. I'm very sorry, young man, but I don't think we can. Well, um, I see you've hired a new office boy. <laughs> well, not exactly. We were just negotiating. What's your salary, young man? The last time I got 18 fur. Eighteen dollars for an office boy? That's a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lot of office boy. On the last job as office boy, they made me manager the first day. No. Office of the United States Marshal closed up the joint. Uh, they declared a moratorium. <gasps> What's your name, young man? They, uh, they call me Torchy, sir. Mm, he seems to be an enterprising young man. Oh, you have to be. You know, it isn't about living in the glass house if you have this no moss. It's a bird that throws a stone. Well, he seems to have the right idea. <laughs> Remember this, Torchy. This firm does not permit its employees to speculate or gamble. Two to one, you'll never catch me gambling. That's the bet. Office boy, huh? Hm. You and your glory be. You and yours. That's your desk right there. Stamp those letters. And close that door. Unless you guys are waiting for a group picture, you better get to the one ad. Boy, boy, will you clear this office? Oh, yeah. As I was saying, just before we were so rudely interrupted, your salary is $15 a week. Eighteen. Fifteen. Eighteen. Fifteen! And this firm does not permit its employees to speculate or gamble. Glory be, glory be. Oh, all right, all right. All, all right, right what? Oh, uh, what you said. Eighteen dollars. Glory be, glory be, glory be. Brown. 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 Mr. Brown, 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 see you, Mr. Ellen. Oh, yes, yes, show them in. Yes, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Tidy. Oh, oh, good morning, Mr. Ellen. Good morning. Is Father busy? Yes, I believe he is. Won't, won't you, uh, won't you uh, sit down? Why, thank you. You'll, uh, pardon me. Why, certainly. Thank you. Uh, Torchy. Yes, sir. See that I'm not disturbed. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, whom did you wish to see? Why, Mr. Allen. Uh, he, he's very busy just now. But you'd be kind enough to wait. I certainly. Would you care to read? Oh, thank you.
yes, all right, dear, all right, yes. I'll send out and get something for her at once. Yes, yes, all right, goodbye. Today is my daughter's birthday and almost forgot it. And I've got to go to Washington. Oh, you pardon me. That's Mr. Elm calling me in the conference. Surely. That's it. Run out and buy a present for my daughter. Today is her birthday. Use your own judgment. You ought to know what a young girl would like. You bet I do. Here's $20. That ought to cover. Oh, just leave it to me, Mr. Allen. I'm talking. Take that to the house tonight and give it to my daughter personally. Oh, yes, sir. I'm sorry I got tied up with Mr. Allen, but it's his daughter's birthday and he wants me to buy her a present. You see, I attend all of Mr. Allen's important business. But this one's got me thrown for a loss. Why don't you get her a nice bag? That'd be swell. Where can you get them? I'll tell you what. I'll go with you. I know the duckiest place. Oh, swell. What's Miss Ellen's like? Oh, you know, she's like all these rich girls, big and fat, eating too many fancy foods. And even her best friends won't tell her. Oh, indeed. Well, is she pretty? I don't know. I've never seen her with her glasses off. She wears big, thick ones. Oh, I like this bag. So do I. Hey, I think you've got good taste. Think so? Find something you like? I'll say I have. Oh, the <laughs> bag. Take this one. That'll be 1850, please. Wait, look at this. It's gorgeous. I think so, too. Your taste is getting better. I'll take this one instead. I must run along. I know Miss Ellen will like her bag. I'll see you again sometime. I hope so. Thanks for helping me out. If you ever want to see Mr. Ellen, you just come and see me. Why, Ellen and I are just like that. <laughs> be on top. I may do that sometime. Goodbye. Bye. That'll be $25, please. All right. How much? $25. I'll take the $18.50 one. I have a package for Miss Allen. You'll find the servants and the tradesmen's entrance in the rear. Hey, Miss Allen's ain't no servant. And what do y'all mean, tradesmen? I never laid a brick in my life. And this package got to be delivered to Miss Allen in person. Are your feet clean? Yeah, and my shoes are too, if that's what you mean. up the wrong purse. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I like this best anyway. It's beautiful. Oh, swell. I'm glad you like it. Well, I guess I'll be going. Won't you stay for my party? Will I? Good. Your name, please. Sorty. Your full name. Mr. Percival Oliver Muldoon. When you say that, smile. My word. Have a piece of cake? Yeah. Thanks. Good, isn't it? Swell. The fancy was very happy ever after. Up in the blue, just a big smile, goof on a happy old woman in the shoes. Ooh, a happy old woman in the shoes. Ooh, 
Have you a woman in the field?